Hi, my name is Anisha Pindoria and I'm a Senior Program Manager in the Azure DevOps Community Team. Um, in today's show, uh, we're joined uh, with Anand. Anand, do you want to quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is Anand. I'm a PM on the Azure DevOps Reporting Team and it's my first time on the show. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's great to have you on the show as yeah, well. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> of course. Um, so in this sprint video, we'll be covering um, just some of the items uh, released in Sprint 150. So uh, let's just get straight down to it. Um, all of these features have uh, rolled out to all of the organizations, so you should be able to see them on your account as well. Um, so the first thing that I'm really excited to uh, announce to you guys, well, I guess share with 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 everyone, is um, the general availability for the dark theme, which is which has been you know one of our our biggest requests to, is to how do you switch on the dark theme? Um, it's been in public preview for the last couple of months. Uh, we've been uh, listening to your feedback. We've been fine tuning the dark theme as well. So uh, now we're at a stage where um, it's 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 available for everyone. So let me show you um, what that looks like and how you can and switch between the two as well. Um, so I'm just in my account right now. And if I just go uh, to my self here and click on the theme, um, you can now toggle between um, the standard, which is the light theme, um, or toggle to the dark theme. So this is pretty cool. Um, I've been using it for a couple of days. Um, I'm still getting used to it, but I, 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 I'm definitely liking it. So I think for these demos, well, at least for my part of it, I'll leave it on. But um, what do you think about the dark theme? Do you use it yourself, Anand? <laughs> I usually like the light theme just because it's a little hard. The darker theme is a little harder on my eyes with like, the enough. text and stuff. Yeah, of course. But it, it's been such a huge customer ask and like dashboards and stuff look awesome. Yeah, 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 perfect. Great, yeah. awesome. All right, so that's the dark theme. Um, the next exciting thing that I want to share with with everyone is uh, the new uh, task assistant for uh, the YAML editor. So let me show you what that one looks like and explain a little bit more about that too. All right, so let's go ahead and edit that. And this will take me to um, the YAML file. So within here, what I can actually do is um, if I add in steps, I can now actually just, um, so this is the new um, uh, task assistant. So I can now just go ahead and look for a task. So if I say I want to add a Maven task, uh, search for Maven, um, just check that all of these details look good, and they do, um, and then just click on Add Task. And there you go. It's just added the task straight into um, my YAML file. Uh, very simple, easy. Um, and it's great to have that task assistant on the side there as well because it just populates it with the common um, tasks that er, you know majority of people use. And if there is isn't something that you can find in there, you can always just carry on using the YAML editor anyway. Um, this might look familiar because it's similar to um, uh, the classic editor that we used to have as well. Um, Another thing that I um, am really excited to show you, I'm excited about all of these features, as you can see, um, is a couple of cool things in um, Azure Boards. Um, the first one that I really want to show you is um, the new badge for Azure Boards. Um, so the badge um, is a nice complement um, to the other badges that we have, a bit, that we have available, um, like the Build Badge and the Pipelines Badge, and you can share that and make that visible with the rest of your team and even make it visible um, publicly as well. So let me show you how you can start using the Azure badge as well. Um, so if I go over to my boards um, and click on board here, uh, let's go ahead and leave that. Uh, I won't rate it for now. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and so this is um, my boards here and I'll just go to my settings and um, you'll notice in the board settings and the boards, uh, there's now a status badge. So if I go ahead and click on that, you'll notice um, a couple of things here. Um, so this is what the new Azure Boards badge looks like. This is just a preview of it. Um, and you'll notice that um, in my um, doing column, I've only got two work items, that's all I have. Uh, but you can um, customize this um, and configure it um, depending on what you want to show. So right now I've got the show in progress columns only, uh, but I could go ahead and toggle to this, this one here, which is include all columns. Um, and so that includes the to do column, which in this case, I don't have anything, the, do, the doing column and the done column as well. So this generates a simple markdown here that you can just uh, copy and then um, pop it into your readme file. So what I'll do is I'll uh, hop on over to repos and navigate to my readme file here. And I'll show you what this actually looks like. So if I go into edit, 
um, if I hit a couple of returns and paste that in. So I've pasted that um, markdown in there. And if I go into preview, you'll now see that the badge is already in there. So, and this is live as well. So as you start making changes to your boards, um, you'll, you'll see this update and change as well. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, and if you want to um, share this um, publicly with everyone and, you're, and, and you've got, you have an open source project, then just pop it in and away you go. And then everyone will be able to see um, you know how um, everything's going and the status of your board as well. So that's 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 pretty nifty. Um, that's I really pretty cool. like this. Yeah, it it really is, and it's a nice complement to the other two badges that we have to show build and deployments as well. So it's 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 a nice status. Um, the other pretty cool thing, um, seeing as that we're already in boards, is um, I really want to show you the um, export uh, feature that we have in queries. So let me change over um, and navigate to queries, what we've added in here is that you can now export your queries to a CSV file. So um, I just go to my query that shows me everything. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and click on the ellipsis. And you'll see here that it's got an export to CSV file. So uh, while this is opening, and I'll show you what it looks like, is it will actually uh, bring into and pop into the CSV file the work, I work item type, the ID, title, status, all of that kind of that you'll be able to then, you know, um, manipulate, uh, do whatever you want with this data, if you want to share it, whatever you want to do, it's now in a nice CSV file, which makes it easier to, um, you know, pretty much do whatever you want to do with it, basically. So. <laughs> So there's some cool stuff coming out in the analytics world, right? Do you want to tell us more about that? Of course. I'm really, really excited. So as you guys know, we're now GA, right? So customers no longer need the extension to get analytics. Analytics is just always on. It's there for customers to enjoy. And it's really becoming an integral part of the Azure DevOps experience and providing that constant value. And so one of the things, uh, so we, before, customers had to install the extension to mm -hmm. get the access to the service. Now, now that it's GA, we're giving all giving away all our widgets and in-product experience completely free to customers. Wow! So everything you see in Azure DevOps that you can use that are just you know our widgets are in line that it's just free. It's always there. We're not even we're not charging you for it. And with Power BI integration through Analytics Views and OData, customers can still use it. They don't need the extension for it. We're leaving it in preview right now while we still figure okay. out some of the pricing details. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but the main focus is that the value is just there to go use. And That's I'd fantastic. love to show you. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. So one of the aspects I mentioned is our widgets, right? And so we also have other widgets that query against the off store, but the off store isn't necessarily meant for reporting. It's not designed with reporting in mind. And whenever a customer uses other experiences in Azure DevOps, that's where the, their data is stored in the op store. So, you're, so reporting, if you actually want to use the op store, you're competing against resources, right? It's not a separate data store. Yeah. Versus the service is a separate data store, right? It's meant for reporting. And since it's pre-aggregated for reporting, you can do faster aggregations. You can do cool things like trend over time that nice. you're not able to do in this operational store, yeah, right? Yeah. And so with our widgets are offer a ton of value. So I'll kind of walk through what they are. Uh, our first one is the velocity one, right? It's kind of industry standard. You can kind of, by looking at the widget, you can see how am I do doing from sprint to sprint in terms of what did I plan and what did I execute, mm -hmm. right? And for example, here you notice I planned a lot and I didn't finish as much. I yeah. planned a lot, did not finish as much. I planned a lot, didn't finish as much. What is that telling? Like in that, you know, there's a problem there. Let me go look at it. Yeah. Our CFD widget, it kind of, it really tells you how work is flowing through different mm -hmm. states, right? So if you see things like my in-progress band is keeps getting wider, but my done column isn't going up. It's like, oh, wait, my work is creeping up. I yeah. should just take a look at it, right? <laughs> Definitely so, investigate that one, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Our lead and cycle time, right? Th these are beautiful widgets to look at, wow. and they offer a ton of value. For example, uh, cycle time, you know, it's telling you how fast, uh, when I started on my work item to when I'm finishing it, right? And so you, you can see over here, the black band over here yeah. is the standard, is sorry, the average of how off, uh, how the cycle time is doing. Okay. And then the blue band is the standard deviation of that oh, got average. It. Yeah. And then you can also drill down to averages, you know, for example, like, oh, this DTS, why did it take like 270 days? Oh my God, like, yeah. let me go take a look at that. Yeah. Right? So you can drill into outliers and you can also filter within the widget itself. So you say, I'm just interested in bugs. Oh, I wow. wanna know how fast I yeah. can close out bugs. And you can say, oh, you know what? 
the out you know the, the average is not too bad i guess depending mm -hmm. on how the, the scope of the bug or something but hey there's that wire over here why is that one taking a long time right yeah so you can quickly filter and find outliers and go like fix and streamline your devops process here this is amazing i mean especially that you know it's not a static widget and you can actually interact with it and drill down into more stuff it's 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 fantastic this exactly brilliant. yep we and also, they look beautiful too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And we also have our burn up or burn down. So you can quickly see, okay, this, I, and I've configured to be a sprint burn down in this case. So, okay, in this iteration, am I on track to finish my work? How fast am I burning down my yeah, work? Yeah. Or how fast am I burning up to finish, right? Mm -hmm. And it says, oh, look, I'm not projected to finish. It's going to, at the current rate, it's going to take me six more weeks. Wow. So by looking at it, you know, okay, I have some decisions to make. Why yes. is it taking that long? Yeah. Do I need to cut down scope? Do I need to, is it a resourcing problem? Do I need to move things out to other sprints? So begin by quickly looking at the widget. It kind of helps you ask the right questions yes, to go fix your DevOps Yes, definitely. Cycle. And it just brings it straight up to the surface because it's visually already there. Exactly. And you don't need to go and drill into stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And then all the widgets I've showed you so far are for boards, but we also have one for automated oh, tests, this which is brilliant. pipelines, yeah. right? <laughs> and so you can see how you can get insights into your test health, again, on a dashboard. It's... It's just there, and it's so so cool with the investments we're making. And the cool thing is, we're not just confined to widgets. Yeah. We also have cool reports in the pipeline space coming up that I'd like to show you. Nice. Yes. So if you Let's go over, do it. Yep. So if you go over to a build definition today, right? You obviously have the you know history of the builds and things like that. And now we have an analytics tab. You can kind of see, oh, I can get insights on my build definition right here. So for example, if I want to get into the insight of how off what the pass rate look like, so I see over here, right? It's 82.61%, not the best for pipelines. And mm -hmm. you also have insight. Oh, look, about 38% of my pipeline failures are caused by this one task. Wow. So just by looking at this one card, without even drilling in, you kind of have an idea of what do I need to go fix to make this better? Yeah. And you click on it. And so again, you get trending about how your pass rate is doing and you kind of see, okay, there's a large dip here. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that happened, but you know, it looks like we fixed it. It's kind of going back up. But you still notice, right, your pass rate isn't that high. You want it to be close to as 100 as yeah, possible. So the next question that you naturally ask yourself is, okay, how can I improve this? How do I yeah. fix this, right? And you can do that. So we give you the task failures that are associated with that pipeline. This is brilliant. <laughs> so exactly. You're like, okay, cool. I want to increase that pass rate. How do I do that? Well, the, remember the, the card that it said, yeah. I need to fix this this one task. Yeah. And by fixing that, you know, it's causing 38% of my failures. Let's go look at that. And you can see over here, all the different tasks are in the bubbles. And the wider the bubble is, the more that uh, more that task is contributing to mm -hmm. that failure. Yeah. Right. And so, for example, you look over here, the build a solution one, you notice it's kind of consistent in its failures. It's not really going down. It's 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 mm -hmm. it's consistent. So you're like, OK, why is that? Like, let me go take a look at that and put you mitigate that because if you look at the other ones like this one you see oh it's going down and it's you know it's yeah. potentially getting better but this one isn't right and again we're really getting into a world where we're not just showing you the what we want to really show you the how can you improve and help you ask those right questions yeah yeah right this is, yeah. yep and so like this is part of our in product experiences and same with our dashboards and we're just giving it out away to customers right and the other part there, where again, we're leaving in preview is the analytics views uh, in Power BI. Yep. And I still wanted to kind of show you. Yes, please, yeah, let's yep. do it. Yep. So this feature is in preview. Okay. And, what, and if you notice, all the other features are kind of constrained to what you can do within Azure DevOps. And you're like, okay, now what if I want to take my data out and do my own custom mm. reporting, right? And so analytics views a lot is one way you can do that. And with analytics views, what you're essentially doing is creating a custom data set okay. on top of reporting. Oh, wow. All right, so how you can do that is, you know, we create a new view, you can give it a name, talk about what, what you want it to do, keep it to yourself or you want to share it with others. You can choose the work items that you want, right? So right now it's going to to all teams, but suppose I just want, you know, reporting, right? I can do that saying, hey, I just want to, to my team, I can yeah. add more. And you're saying, I just want the user stories for reporting, right? Let me go to the stories backlog, right? I just want that. And you can you can filter down additionally about like, you know, maybe give me certain tags. Yeah, so you right? can really customize it to the way uh, that you want and the view that you want, Exactly, right? right? This yeah. is all about creating that data set that you want to take outside. Perfect, right? perfect. You can choose the fields that you want for reporting as well. So you can, and we give you a nice starter set to begin with, mm -hmm. and then you can always add more. And all the fields that are in your project and an analytics service are exposed to you. Yeah. And then with history, you can kind of choose the how long you want to trend by. And you can also, within Azure DevOps itself, verify your view to see how, how much data it's going to pull out. And then this is, again, this is one solution of how you can do it. Yeah. And this is providing a user-friendly interface to kind of creating your data. But if you want to use OData, 
we also I- expose that endpoint to you saying, you know what, I want to write my own analytics experiences or I just I just want to query it and just pull the raw data out, mm. you know, dump it in Excel and do my own thing. Yep. You can do that with our solution too. Wow. So with GA, we've unlocked the, so much uh, possibilities you can do. So you can say, you know what, yes. I just want things that are within my product, within my day-to-day, I can do that. Or I'm a very heavy user, I want a lot of customizations, and I can do that as well. So the reach of the service as well as the value that we're providing that now that it's everywhere is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, just just the possibilities of what you can do with it, it's just it, it just it's just blows my mind. It's just endless, right? It's exactly. just fantastic. I mean, this is some pretty cool stuff, I have to say. And I think that a lot of customers have been waiting for this as well. Oh um, yeah. Like it, it they you know, we've been like, hey, give me analytics, it's in preview, it's in preview, yeah, like, yeah. it's still extension. When, <laughs> when are you gonna give me? And now we're like, hey, it's right there, go yes. use it. And now that it's GA, we can introduce a lot more of those inline things without customers having to worry about oh do I have the extension or because with the extension sometimes you may not have permission to install it right like who who is my even for Azure DevOps exactly. like I don't know who the admin is right right and I don't want to go <laughs> bug them to do it but now it's yeah. just right there and I can start using oh this it. is fantastic yeah, yeah I'm I'm definitely looking forward to playing with this one and you know folks just go ahead and try it give us the feedback and um, they can reach out to you right yeah definitely we'd love your feedback and um, feel free to tweet at me with any feedback that you have or kind of suggestion on what else you'd like to see right I'd love to engage with you guys perfect awesome so we only covered just the tip of the iceberg here with some of the features but there are a ton more stuff that we released in sprint 150 so definitely go check out the release notes you'll see all of the details of everything that we spoke about today plus a ton of details on the analytics service as well uh, which is really really cool yeah <laughs> Um, and as well as seeing uh, all of the details for the other um, features that we released as well. So thanks again, Anand, for being on the show. It's been of such course. a pleasure. Thank you for to having you. me. Yes, of course. Yeah. And we'll definitely have you on the show again. Definitely. Looking for forward sure. to it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And thanks, everyone, for uh, joining um, in this sprint video as well. And we'll see you again in the next sprint. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.